Okay, so the last book that we're going to read for the Global Read Aloud, and I'm not going to read the whole thing because it's not one story, it's nursery rhymes scattered through the whole book. So I'll just pick a couple nursery rhymes and, and I'll make sure that I post pictures of the other ones so you can explore a little bit. It's La Madre Goose by Susan Middleton Ayla, illustrated by Juana Martinez Neal. And as you remember, we see that the distinctive style of illustrating hair is back. And the author also wrote the book from a few weeks ago, La Princesa and the Pea. And so it's gonna take the same style of writing, like how we had the English words, but then Spanish was weaved in with them. So this is gonna take famous nursery rhymes and kind of switch them around and give them a different culture with different words. It's really neat. And and if you, if some of the parents are reading, uh, listening to this, you might begin to remember some things when you were a kid. And maybe these are some of the nursery rhymes that you shared with the children watching now. This one is Maria had a little oveja and then Baba Black Oveja. So Mary had a little lamb and Baba Black Sheep. No idea what the difference is between a lamb and a sheep. Maria had a little oveja. Its lana was white as snow. And everywhere that Maria went, la oveja was sure to go. It followed her to school one day, which was against the rule. It made los niños laugh and play to see una oveja at school. Ba, ba, black oveja, have you any lana? Si, sir, si, sir, three bags llenas. One for my sister, una for mi madre, and one to be shared by my brother and mi padre. See some good ones. Oh, I used to play this one as a, as a little kid. Loved it. This little cerdo went to market. Remember when you used to play with your toes? This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. I don't know why that makes any sense. And this little piggy went wee 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 all the way home. This little cerdo went to market. This little cerdo stayed home. This little cerdo had roast carne. This little cerdo had none. And this little cerdo cried, oink, 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 all the way home. Not gonna read this one. It's the three little kittens lost their mittens. And they have, um, Peter and the Pumpkin. I don't remember that one as well. I love this one because it's a game that I used to play as a little kid all the time. Um, it's One Potato Dose Potatoes. One Potato Dose Potatoes. Trace Potatoes 4. Cinco papas, seis papas, siete papas more. And when we'd have like the one potato, two potato, three potato, four, five potato, six potato, seven potato, or, and then it'd be the big potato. That was fun. Hey diddle diddle. Hey diddle diddle, El Gato and the fiddle, La Vaca jumped over La Luna. El Perro laughed to see such a sport, and El Plato stole Una Fortuna. Don't do one last one. 
Twinkle Twinkle Small Australia. Twinkle Twinkle Small Australia, how I wonder why you're, why you're Bea, shining high, you're so vibrante, in the sky, un diamante. Twinkle Twinkle Small Australia, how I wonder why you're Bea. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, how I wonder what you are. So they have other ones in here that are really, really cute. They have uh, the Itsy Bitsy Spider, which I always had fun singing as a little kid. And then some that I don't really know. Um, Old Madre Rosario. Little Boy Azul, that Little Boy Blue. Uh, I remember that from, a, from being a kid. We'd, uh, we didn't say it a lot in my house. Um, little Miss Amarillo. I think this one is a take on uh, Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet eating her curds and whey. But in this story, she's eating her um, rice and beans. Beans and, and arroz. Uh, Mary Mary Quite Contrary. So, uh, along with a really, really quick seesaw assignment, I'll post some pictures of these so that you can explore some of the other nursery rhymes in this book because it's really, really cute. Um, the author did a nice job with this. So, this concludes our Global Read Aloud. We have been able to look at an illustrator across uh, five books, uh, Juana Martinez Neal, and we've also been able to see an author a few times. So we've got the writing style of Susan Middleton uh, Elia here, and it's it. I think it's just been a really great five weeks, you know, from Alma and how she got her name, Swash B and the C. Um, La Princesa and the Pea, La Madre Goose. What amazing, amazing books um, that we got to study along with the rest of the world. So I hope you enjoyed each and every one of them. And this is the last global read aloud. The founder has decided that this is it. So I'm really thankful that our schools got a chance to take part in this one last time. So. Thank you everyone for reading along with me. Take care.